Hello my sexy Sagittarius and welcome to your general reading. Today we're going to see what is coming towards you, family, lover, friend or foe. Um, please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa, okay? So only take what resonates, feel free to switch agendas, switch the roles, do what you got to do and leave the rest. If any of you would like to book a personal reading to purchase anything or to make a donation to the channel, all info on how to do so is down below, okay? So it might be a full Sagittarius. So we're going to start off with your mantra, which is I see, okay? So, you know, you will cite perception. So what is it that you are going to be able to see? We're going to base the reading off of that, okay? So I see myself being successful. I see myself being married. I see myself, you know, or I see the future. I see like whatever it is, we're going to see, okay? So, the overall energy I already pulled for you guys, which is this, which says, I attribute my success to this. I never gave or took an excuse. Okay, beautiful. And at the bottom of the deck, we have this, which reads, pray for the dead and fight like hell for the living. And your card, okay, because you were the ancestors, okay? So, for some of you, you could be really tapped into your ancestors right now. You could be doing a lot of praying, okay? But I feel like this is why you know, this is why you see, because you are close, to the ancestors okay you are the um the temperance card you are the angel you're the free spirit of the zodiac sign okay i feel like you know you also rule luck because you're ruled by jupiter so i feel like people are trying to figure out well why are you so successful or why are you able to do this that and the third because you never gave up you never made any excuses you just put in the work okay you can manage a lot you know you are the ten of ones okay not you know only sages can really handle the ten of ones okay you know, that's almost like making the impossible happen. Like people are piling on all of this work onto you, but you know, you're just getting through it. So I feel like some people could be trying to make sense of why you're successful or why something in your life is working out successfully. You know, somebody's trying to figure out, you know, what is the tricks? What is the schemes? What did you strategize? And you're just like, you know what? Nothing. I just put in the work. I never made up any excuses because, you know, a lot of times people want to do things and then you suggest and they're like, oh, but I can't do this. Oh, but this. If butts and coconuts, I feel like you're just like, you know what? I said to myself, I'm going to do it. And you said you were going to do it. You put in the work and you got the results. It's that simple. It is that simple. Okay. So let's just see where this is going, my beautiful sage. Okay, that flew all the way out. Okay, we have Angel of Romance, love. Okay, beautiful energy, Sagittarius. Okay, so this could be a love of what it is that you're doing. You put love and hard work into it, okay? There also could be somebody who is in love with you because they can see that you just keep going. No matter what it is that you're going through, you just keep persevering. Somebody absolutely loves that, okay? So gorgeous energy. Now with the fight for the living, you could have like a love for humanity. You could be very charitable as well. Okay. But you know, the angel of romance is surrounding you, but you could be very romantic with your job, what it is that you um are doing. Okay. We have muse of speech. It's a speaking language, expression, letters, articles, texts, and contracts. Okay. So somebody may want to speak to you. You could also be in an article as well. Somebody may want to write something about you. So somebody may want to feature you like in a magazine or on a blog or something. Okay, you could be dealing with the Pisces or you could have significant Pisces placements. We have Neptune, Jupiter, water dreams, fantasy, secrets, artistry, psychic and hypnotic. Okay, so somebody's like hypnotized by your creativity. Okay, somebody loves your mind as well. And again, you know, Neptune and Jupiter because that was Pisces ancient ruler. Okay. So you and Pisces have that in common. So I feel like someone feels like you are very dreamy. You're very artistic. Somebody also has like a really beautiful voice. Voice. Somebody could be an actual artist or a musician of some kind. I'm just getting that you're like a dream or a wish come true. Or like I said, you know, you something that is successful in your life is because you really believed in it. You made a dream a reality because you are in love with your, your craft. You're in love with what it is that you do. You're in love with your talent or somebody is in love with what you're doing. Okay. So I feel like people could look to you as like an inspiration, Sagittarius. 
Yeah, we have the psychic. Okay, it says, seer, clairvoyant, aware, preternatural, telepathy, mentalist, into knowing a mastermind. Yeah, I feel like you are a true master of your mind, okay? So somebody could have Pisces in their ninth house, or you could have um, Sagittarius in your twelfth house, okay? I'm getting Sagittarius Palace or Pisces Palace could be very significant. Okay, but yeah, I see. So what do you see? So I feel like you see love for yourself coming in. Or you are very intuitive. Some of you definitely could be readers or psychics. Somebody could be blow, mind blown by your abilities or they could just be in love with how you read. I just feel like there's something about you that's just different. But yeah, you see everything. So I'm getting all seeing. You know, you also can, you know, when somebody's in love with you as well. You could be a psychic who does love readings. You're very accurate. Or somebody could be getting readings on you. But somebody here is really, really powerful. Okay, yeah. Oh, we have the angel of lust. It says desire. Yeah, someone is desiring you. Someone is all up on you. All up in your psyche. Literally. I named a collective reading all up in your psyche. So you may want to watch that. But I feel like someone is desiring to know things about you. Or somebody just finds your... I don't know. I feel like when someone... Especially if you're online. Oh, shit. Especially if you're online. I feel like when someone watches you, they kind of just get lost. There's something about you that's very hypnotic. Because you know like when people are like, you know, I can't even concentrate on the reading. Because you are just like... Something about your energy. Or like I said, somebody here is just very... um. Very intuitive, okay? So let's see where this is going. Or oh, you are in love with a psychic? You think they're really sexy or lusting after someone? Now, this could also... You, you could have a successful psychic business. Like, you could be a spiritual practitioner and, like, someone is like, well, how did you make it? And you're just like, because I just put work in. Or you are authentic. You are the real deal. So that's why you're successful because your intuition is um is on point. Okay. My goodness, this is like the third time this card has come out. Okay, we have the redhead, feisty, sexy, and passionate. Yeah. So I'm telling you, somebody thinks that you are so sexy. I always call you sexy Sagittarius. Someone thinks you're so sexy, um, Sag. I feel like someone feels that like you're I feel like someone feels like you are a sexy psychic. Like, period. Or someone loves the fact that you are able to read them. Or like I said, you're very passionate about something. You're just in love with something that you do. Okay, yeah, the sleek ponytail. It says perfection, accuracy, and loyal. Yeah, you rule accuracy. I feel like you're, loyal, you're um, accurate as fuck. Okay. I feel like it's just mind-blown. Okay, we have the cutout. It says the cutout. We have the haircut, sorry. It says cutting out bad habits, releasing negativity, and letting shit go. Yeah. So there could be something that you're cutting out, which is helping you to, because maybe you're in a bit of a delusion right now. So you're trying to cut things out of your life to help you with your um, gifts. Because, you know, when we are attached to too many toxic things, it kind of can affect our abilities, our judgment. So I feel like maybe there's something that you recently stopped doing. And that's a really good thing because it's helped you to heighten your psychic ability. So congratulations for whatever that is whether it's a person or a bad habit that you have. So yeah, because, you know, Pisces is that nine of cups card overindulgence. So you could have been overindulging in something, but it was affecting your psychic abilities. Okay, maybe somebody that um, you love told you this, or this could be another psychic that, you know, you maybe, maybe you watched a reading and they said, you know what, you need to do this, that, and the third, and you, you, you done it. And you could be very grateful for that advice because it's actually working, okay? Yeah, we have the crown. So yeah, protect your crown chakra. Royalty, respect, and status, okay? So please clarify the psychic. For my beautiful, sexy Sagittarius. Okay, too many cards. Okay, wow. This is my high priestess card, clarified by the psychic. So we have the bonnet. It says, mysteries, hidden truth, from the unknown. Yeah. I don't know who this is, but somebody here, like I said, they are powerful as fuck, you know. 
So yeah, you are tuned in. You are tapped into the Akashic Records. So you just know things. You can see things before they happen. You get visions, you get dreams, or pay attention to your visions and your dreams. You could be writing them down. I recently um, started a dream journal because I just be having some wild dreams, man. I need to be making sense of them. So this could be something that you're doing. And then when you go back on your dream, you're like, wait a minute, this actually makes sense to what's actually currently going on. There also could be someone that's showing up a lot in your dreams. I feel like it's because this person is in love with you. So they're trying to get your attention. So you could be thinking, am I crazy? Or why do I keep dreaming about someone? Especially if it's someone that you're not in contact or communication with. I feel like they keep showing up in your dreams. So you're trying to decipher. But I feel like there's just a lot that you know that maybe you don't share. Then we have the rinse. It says um, purify, release, and purge. Okay, yes, yeah, so I feel like you're purging from something that you cut out. This could have been a love interest as well. But it's almost like somebody wants to release this desire that they have for you. But you could be you could be trying to purify, purify yourself from lustful force. I feel like someone just gets you riled up, Saj, or you get somebody riled up. Somebody could be hiding this as well. Somebody could be hiding like their attraction for you. But yeah, with the I see, you see it though. You know, you see. Okay, so please clarify the angel of romance and the redhead. There's too many cards. Cool. There you are, Sagittarius, man. God, you're coming up strong in your reading. The temperance card. And we mentioned that. So someone feels like you are angelic, you are pure. You also, you're also like the perfect blending of beautiful energies. Okay. And again, you know, temperance means to be abstinence from alcohol. So I do feel like for some of you, you cut out something. You cut out some type of toxin and you're realizing that's how you evolve to the, um, to the temperance card. That's how you temper yourself. You are definitely purifying your energy. So now you are properly in sync with the universe, with your mind. Beautiful energy. Also, there could be somebody, you know, yeah, the angel of romance, literally the angel. She's an angel here. So I feel like you're surrounded by the angel of romance. This is kind of what you drew in. This could be also how someone is viewing you. Now, this could also indicate that somebody wants to reconcile with you as well. I feel like someone just feels like you are perfection. So maybe this is someone else that had to cut out a bad habit or maybe both of you did in order to kind of come together. But there's an angel around you right now that is really kind of protecting you. I feel like the angel is also making you irresistible to somebody. Okay, yeah, the 10 of wisdom. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. So yeah, again, you had to cut something out. You had to, something was like breaking you or breaking you down. Maybe it's lying, okay? Or you could, like I said, you could be dealing with the Gemini. So Gemini, they got that in their reading. It was all about being truthful. And I also feel like you can't, someone can't lie to you because you are a reader. Or somebody could be accusing you of lying or being um, deceitful. You're just like, you do know I'm a psychic, right? Like, why would I, you know, or... It's like a reader accusing you of doing something and you're both readers. It's like, well, I'm a psychic, you're a psychic, so why don't you just pull cards and just like, you know what I mean? Just, nah. Okay, but whatever, something was breaking you or breaking you down, so you're cutting that shit out. You're cutting out this heartbreak and you're, you're rebuilding yourself. Now, this could have been somebody who broke your heart and they want to, like I said, they want to mend it. Because they've cut out some type of delusion, some type of fantasy. I also feel like you are the person of somebody's dreams. Also, this could indicate there's no more pain. Because like I said, I feel like you were doing something that was hurting yourself, your mind, or this is a person. You cut something out, yeah. To focus on your stability and, you know, your structure, your roots. Could be dealing with the Virgo. Okay, I'm getting a lot of wealth coming towards you. This could also be something to do with your family. Maybe there's somebody in your family that needs to cut out a bad habit and they're going to do that. Yeah, the four of wealth. Okay, so yeah, being grounded. You could be out in nature as well trying to ground yourself or this is something that you should be doing. Could be doing with a Capricorn. 
but yeah like i said i feel like there's a lot that you know maybe you maybe this is saying that you shouldn't share something or somebody wants to know your secrets somebody also could be trying to hide you especially if you're a psychic maybe you're online somebody doesn't want you to be seen because of how powerful you are or because of how sexy you are but somebody is holding on to you here and like i said i feel like intuitively you know you're also holding on to a lot of knowledge You know, a lot of psychics, they don't, like, real true psychics, they don't need cards. The cards are just decoration and confirmation for what it is you already know. So it's like people can't hold back from you they because you know the truth. You know what's going on in someone's mind before they do. Yeah, the two of pentacles here. So somebody could have double Capricorn placements. It's like somebody's trying to balance their mind out here. They're trying to figure, like, somebody's really trying to gain some type of balance, whether this is you or somebody else. Especially, because you know, like, when we're in love, sometimes we can just ignore certain things. I feel like if you love someone or something, or you're just like, you know what, I'm not going to allow love to kind of lead my mind at this point. I need to make sure that I'm, I have a clear, you know, I just had clear conscience. Somebody may want to clear their conscience. All right, what is the Ten of Wisdom about? What is the Ten of Swords about? Because my battery's low, so I can't have this reading too long. The Two of Swords. Two of Wisdom could be dealing with the Libra. Yes, yeah, like somebody was in denial about something. Someone's in denial about something that they needed to cut out or they needed to let go of. So they got rid of it or this is you. Somebody didn't want to see something here. Somebody didn't want to see no heart, um, heartache, heart pain betrayal somebody wanted to live in the fantasy with that pisces energy i also feel like it's really it's really hard for you to make this decision to have to cut out this thing this bad habit this person but it's something that you need to do because i feel like something is stealth in your growth or like i said something is affecting your psychic abilities or like i said this could be something to do with lust this could be something to do with sex Okay, so yeah, you could be abstinent from sex. Maybe you're practicing celibacy. Yeah, the hermit test. There's something that you need to, to let go of. Or you need to isolate yourself so, so that you can purify yourself with the Virgo energy here. You're being guided to do so. So this could be as well. Somebody's asking, how did you become successful? Or how are you successful at doing something? You know, because you didn't make an excuse. You said to yourself, you know what? I need to do this. If I want to be become a better individual. But I feel like this is someone around you. Because this is your energy. There's somebody else around you that I feel like needs to cut something out. In order to be in your life. It's like you, you can't deal with anybody that's on a low vibration or a low frequency. You're just like meet me at my level bitch. Period. So I feel like this is someone else. Yeah it could be a Cancer, Capricorn, a Gemini or a Libra. Okay. Because yeah this is on top of this. So it's almost like somebody's holding some type of secret back from you, but you can see, you know, especially if you're a reader. I don't understand why people be lying to people who have got psychic abilities. It's like someone doesn't believe how powerful you are. Now, you may find that like a Cancerian or a Capricorn starts to hold back from you. They're hiding something. But you already know this, so it's okay. Someone's trying to hold on to some type of secret. You're just like, I already know. It's cool, yeah. The Seven of Wands, um, Leo energy. So I feel like somebody may block you or you're being protected from somebody because somebody here is not to be trusted. I feel like you're perfect. You're lovable. Somebody could be intimidated by this as well. I feel like maybe somebody sees you as perfection. Or somebody could be jealous of your psychic abilities. Yeah, but with the, 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 the seven of ones, I feel like you need to protect yourself from somebody. Okay, there's a nitus of emotions. Yeah, so somebody wants to come towards you to express how they feel. Could be dealing with a Pisces or another water sign. Or you're getting your balance back. Now, this could also be somebody hiding their feelings for you. But like I said, somebody could be coming towards you in a lustful way. And they you can't come to me when it comes to lust. Like... You need to pure your energy before you come. Because, yeah, because your last love reading, it was a bugaboo. Like, somebody kept coming onto you strong in a lustful way. It's like, nah. So maybe somebody wants to apologize for that. Yeah, the fool. Free spirit. You're here to be free. 
yeah i can see you kind of just ghosting someone also this could also be somebody wanting to start a new beginning with you somebody that like, wants to take that leap of faith but they're holding on to some, some type of secret but i feel like whatever it is that this person is holding on to you already know what it is all right so let's pull some additional cards before the um frame runs out yeah study knowledge is power use what you know to your advantage yeah you know you study a lot you know a lot somebody also could be studying you again somebody i feel like someone is that like, intimidated by your knowledge okay and yeah privilege special treatment so yeah if you haven't been getting the treatment that you deserve i see i see it coming in i see somebody holding on to something knowing that they can't hold on to you because of how psychic you are they knowing that they can't hold on to the secret sorry they're going to apologize or express something because somebody's desiring you they're in love with you or you are the truth or somebody could have been holding on to this bad habit maybe they want to confess that to you okay yeah we got happiness beautiful it says there are so many reasons to smile so yeah i feel like you're going to be happy in the end sagittarius no matter what happens here okay and yeah selfie someone is stalking your social media so i feel like somebody is stalking you they're watching you Somebody's trying to figure out whether you're happy or not. I feel like you are. I feel like you're happy, you're balanced, you're doing very well. So like I said, this could be somebody else around you. Or this could be you just knowing, you know what, I have this tendency. I need to cut this out because I need to evolve. I really want to be happy. So it can go many different ways. So we have this card that wanted to come out. It says, I feel oh so amazed, oh so impressed. The results are remarkable. The best of the best. Yeah. I feel like you're just like a miracle here. Or, yeah, you're getting really good results. Because, like I said, you're putting in that work. So, somebody's very impressed by you. Okay, yeah, I feel oh so, love, oh so in love. My heart oh so full. The chemistry's strong. I feel a constant pull, yeah. So, maybe someone's trying to hold back from you, but they can't, but... And, yeah, we spoke about protection. It says, I feel oh so protective, oh so safe. My angels are around me. I'm in the right place, yeah. So like I said, you don't have to worry. I feel like your angels are around you. They're protecting you. Somebody else around you here is kind of like, I don't want to say they're suffering in silence. They're just, in the, they were in denial about something when it comes to you, your abilities or the love that they have for you, or they, they're hiding some type of toxic bad habit that they have. They need to release this and let this go. And somebody wants to apologize to you. I feel like for lying or betraying you in some type of way. And I feel oh so awake and oh so in tune. I have enlightenment from the sun and secrets from the moon. Yes, here is the moon. And Leo energy, happiness, the sun. So yeah, I feel like you are awakened. You're in tune as fuck. Like I said, your, your psychic abilities cannot be um, denied. You know all the secrets, darling. And someone knows that. Someone knows that they can't lie to you. But either way, I see happiness, I see success, I see love surrounding you. Once a bad habit has been cut out or once somebody cuts out something in their life, okay? And you're obsessing, calm the fuck down. So somebody could be obsessing over you or over the secret. And yeah, stop with the petty games, it won't end well, okay? And then we have, you need to light a candle. So for some of you, you could be doing candle magic, you could be doing some type of protective work, okay? And give us one more. You're being a mean bitch. Stop. Yeah, so maybe somebody was mean to you, yeah, with the Ten of Swords. Somebody could have been trying to hurt your feelings or trying to call you some type of name because you're a psychic or what it is that you do, you know. And yeah, stop with the petty games. It won't end well. Came out again. So someone, you know, it's either this is you. Like I said, maybe that is your bad habit that you tend to be petty. Maybe you cuss people out. You hurt their feelings. It could be an insecurity. It could be a projection. If this is not you, this is somebody else doing that up to you but because you're very psychic and you're very in tune you know that this could be like readers competing with each other and you're just like i'm not competing with you darling like you can't compete with psychic power it's either you're gifted or you're not like i don't understand that maybe somebody was trying to compete with you because you're sexy as fuck sagittarius it's, it's almost like when you're sexy and you're a psychic people just don't know how to receive that like, you're supposed to look like some old fucking witch with, like, a crystal ball. Like, hi, guys, I'm going to read the tarot cards for you today. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, honestly. Good God. It's like, yeah, I'm sexy and psychic. Yeah, best believe it. You know what I mean? Anyway. <laughs> Let me go, Sagittarius. You're sexy, you're psychic as fuck, okay? You are... 
coming out strong in your reading. You're the only major... Well, no, and the moon is here. Major Arcana on the table. So, you know, someone else around you. I just don't know what's going on there, but happiness and sexiness. You're a sexy ass psychic, okay? Let's just stick with that energy, darling. People are watching you. It is what it is. It was what it was. And it will be what it will be, okay? Thank you so much. And goodbye and good day. <laughs>